What is going on today, guys? Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a live stream. I uh, felt like doing one tonight. Uh, jumping back into it after a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I've had some personal stuff going on. And uh, just been busy with life and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be diving back in. This time I'm taking a little break from the Tony Hawk series. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360. And uh, I like to keep the prices of what I paid for these games when I get them. Uh, and I paid three ninety nine for this game when it first came out. Uh, I got it at Value Village. I shouldn't say when it first came out, sorry. But uh, I paid three ninety nine when I got this game at Value Village. Uh, I did own this game also when it first came out. And uh, traded it at some point or whatever, I can't remember. But um, yeah, I'm going to dive back in. Let's see what uh, you know. Call of Duty's been all about. Uh, I know that they are still doing... Uh, some games online, I think there's about, like, last time I checked there was, on the PlayStation 3, there was about 1,400 people or so playing it, but uh, let's just dive in and we'll see how it's running on the 360. Of course, I'm playing on uh, original hardware, playing on the Xbox 360 this time. I could be playing this game on the Xbox One, but uh, I chose to play it on the Xbox 360 because I already had that hooked up, so I'm just going to dive in and let's take a look. I know that this game is glitched a little bit, uh, for, you know how it's showing zero players online, zero players in playlists, that's actually false. Um, I was reading online this actually started back when um, when they did the backwards compatibility for Xbox uh, Xbox One, so dive in. Hello tonight, Boston Terrier, Hockey, and f Fisherman, but Fisherman spelled wrong. You're gonna have to fix that up, old bud. Now, I'm not expecting to do good at this. It's been a long time since I've uh, really dived into Call of Duty. But uh, it's pretty impressive that they still have a following. Apparently they have a Discord server and stuff like that where people will... Um, you know, they'll, they'll meet up and they'll play certain game types and stuff like that. Securing a. There's a lot more people that are playing it without the DLC, so it's also recommended to not play with the DLC on. Or else you'll uh, We've taken the lead. you'll not be able to find many games. This is an old classic, though. A lot of people played Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2 back when it came, first came out. Um, you know, I might have messed this up on the price charting. Ignore the price charting on my page. Uh, it's not worth ninety-two dollars brand new right now. That's uh, that's a different game. So, uh, but this game's worth about eight dollars, complete in box. Uh, brand new, I'm not exactly sure. But this game was maybe the pinnacle of Call of Duty back in the day. Like this, this uh, there was pretty much everybody was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and especially when the second one came out. We've taken the lead. UAV online. For the longest time, like these type of games, they revolutionized the multiplayer genre. Before the Fortnites and the the battle royales came out and stuff, where Call of Duty was kind of forced to adapt with that. But Call of Duty was, uh, for lack of a better term, the shit. Changed it. Boston Terrier hockey and fishermen. There we go. I was gonna say, aren't you up late on a on a school night? But school's out. School's out for the summer. Like I said, I don't expect to do great in this. I'm sh sure some people are also hacking in this as well. I have no idea, but I don't think this game is moderated at all anymore. Losing a. I don't see anything there. I 
I've noticed that a lot of people like to use explosions, like to use grenade launchers, rocket launchers, stuff like that. What the hell? Ah, the old shoddy. That's what I should uh, switch to. I'm doing so bad at that I got Marty down here. Oh my god. Enemy Harriers incoming. Kinda want to adjust my classes a bit. These classes I haven't online. I haven't uh, seen what I've done to them in years. What I like about this though is that you know, all of all of your um all of your classes and your progress is all online, so well, if it just continues, continues on. I try to blow me up. Securing B. UAV online. Play Modern Warfare 2 tonight, the newer one. I haven't played too much of the new Modern Warfare 2. I guess this game is so old now that they've they've redone another Modern Warfare 2. I'll see if I can get the AK-47 out next game. Securing Charlie. We're playing it with an Xbox 360 controller too. It just feels so much different now. Man, some people are fast in this game. That is ridiculously long, how long that's lasting. Oh my god. Flash grenades are nuts in this. I'm sure everybody's probably rocking the same class. Oh, they got us backed into this corner. Oh my god, my reflexes are so slow in this game now. Like, oh my god, I didn't even have a chance to shoot. I'm gonna blame it on the ping in the controller. Like, that's a little quick, right there. Like, that's... Let's see what Buddy is doing here. Oh, he's got the shotgun out. You know the shotties have always been pretty cheap in this game. Grenade! 
Still got A. Securing Bravo. Ah, uh, it's hard to see them now. Losing C. We lost C. Target neutralized. Securing Charlie. Lost Alpha. Charlie secure. Still come back, boys. Get out of here with that rocket launcher. It's like I got like extra, extra health. Let's just start hip firing all these bastards. Honestly, how many shots that guy gonna take? thing here because it's not worth ninety dollars. Let's fix that. To be exact, it's worth eight dollars and forty eight cents right now. Brand new though, it is worth about ninety-two dollars. Brand new, it's saying. Corner, that's pretty. That's pretty accurate, actually. According to price charting right now. So if you're sitting on a brand new copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, it's currently worth about ninety-two dollars. Like I was saying, uh, you're gonna see the QR code there in my. Uh, in my live streams for the next little bit and uh, that's going to link to my wife's uh, BMO ride for cancer and uh, she's raising money for that and uh, I think it's a great cause and uh, if you can support that'd be great uh, if you're not you know if always feel free to share the, the link as well uh, she's has a goal of a thousand dollars right now and uh, she's already halfway there and I'm, I'm thinking that she can do it so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her reach her goal and, and support her along the way. Things download, but it's not going to get there in time. Why is it taking so long? Anyways, it's worth about ninety-two dollars. Brand new, so swap back here on my monitor. Ah, uh, what map are we in? Domination. Oh my god, I hated this map. We've taken the lead. I expect many, many a sniper in this one. Can't use that one. I wish I updated my 
my class, but we'll do so much in between it, in between rounds. You know how Call of Duty's be, it's the it's the unwritten rule that you never take the last Enemy the last flag. That is unless they take yours. Are you kidding me? There's another thing as well in Call of Duty, and it's called the Call of Duty Rage. Where, uh, you know, nothing's going right. Enemy UAV and you just pretty much rage out. And I'm sure many people have lost headsets, c controllers, TVs. Uh, the, the list is name endless. You know, food. They probably tossed, like, siblings across the room when, uh, the game's not going right for them. But you get over it and you keep playing. And this game was the, the pinnacle for that. Black Ops was big too. I'm gonna say Black Ops was pretty big. Uh, pretty big game for the Call of Duty franchise. Well, all of them are pretty big. Like people like to act, act like it's in the decline, but it. Uh, if you look at the sales numbers, it's still a hit year after year after year. There's not too many games out there that can come out in November and just mop the floor with all the other games that year and come out number one. Call of Duty can do it. I don't even know if they've announced the next Call of Duty, but if they have, I'm... No, they couldn't have. I would have known that. What's the right... No, they must have. I, I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I'm not big into the Call of Duty train anymore, but... I imagine they announced something. And then with all the Xbox, Hoopla, with the FTC this week, and... You know, they want to they want to acquire Activision Blizzard, but they're running into some roadblocks with that and Sony of course wants to keep it in their court, right? Because they got these they got the marketing rights to Call of Duty and I think they do for still a couple more years. Xbox essentially lost that right after the Xbox One. Advanced Warfare came out and I think that was the last one to come out uh, with Microsoft Microsoft marketing. Security. Shortly after Advanced Warfare, though, is when I, I stopped playing it heavily. Well, Titan, the rise of Titanfall, too. The first Titanfall was just so good. I actually liked Ghost as well. People like to shit on Ghost, but. Ghost was a pretty good, pretty good game in my opinion. It was fun. I even liked the story for it. Your UAV recon is standing by. UAV online. It's when it's when Call of Duty tried to copy Titanfall that it started going downhill for me. But then they went back to their roots and they kind of boots on the ground. It's one of those games that you swear like you're not gonna buy, and then Christmas time comes around and something happens and you just want to play Call of Duty. close to that one though, they're probably going to spawn in some weird areas. 
That's what we don't want. Yeah, it's pretty impressive to see this game still pretty active. That always happens too. As soon as you like stop aiming down the sights and run, that's when somebody will pop up. Alright, you gotta be kidding me with that. Like, the grenade launchers, they are pretty cheap in this. I just remember, like, the excitement when this game came out and, like, the, and, like, the hype of the map packs, too. Like, remember when, like, map packs would come out and there'd be, like, four new maps and, you know, they'd show the trailer, the hype trailer for them and... It'd always be super exciting, and they'd always like they'd always look so much better in the trailer than they actually were when you played them. I remember some of them being like, uh, I don't know, they would show like, like an amusement park or something crazy like that, and then you'd you'd play the game, and then you'd see the amusement park, and it would be like one thing that you could go in, and like nothing would be interactive and stuff, and. That was always kind of a letdown. Like, there was one, I remember there was one with, like, an ice rink. I was like, oh my god, an ice rink, like, that'd be crazy. And it was, like, half a rink and wasn't even, like, a major part of the map. Those Black Ops maps, though, were pretty fun. I might have to play Black Ops after. That might be my next playing everything game. I know I was playing the Tony Hawk series, but part of the reason why I'm not playing it tonight is because, uh, so, frankly, I just don't have my PS3 plugged in and... I wanted to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 next on the uh, PS1, and uh, in order to play the PS3, like you gotta kind of there's extra stuff you need to plug in. Um, I don't know, Sony kind of they shit the bed with that with that system, and when it comes to uh, capturing it, you gotta you kind of gotta you gotta go through like a HDMI splitter, and it's just extra work. So. And plus, I had the Xbox 360 plugged in right now, next to my uh, my PC, so just made things more simple. I so I picked a game from the box, and it was Call of Duty. So and I was like, okay, you know, it's been a while since I played Call of Duty, and we'll see if there's anybody even live on it. And I played around beforehand just to make sure that it wasn't like an absolute shit show with like. You know, auto aim and people flying through the sky and all that crap. All that crap that I used to love doing when I was like a kid. When I played uh, Conflict Desert Storm back in the day, like uh, I think it was Conflict Desert Storm. Might have been um, Securing A. Delta Force. I think it was called Delta Force. And that game, that game was just shenanigans with the with the bots and the and the hacking and stuff. And I used to love doing that as a kid, like, I thought it was so funny. But now I, like, think about it, I'm just like, what a cheese ball I was. Let's see if that, uh, that one that I was doing fixed. Hey guys, can we not noob to him? Thank you. Guys, we're gonna have a great night. Let's not noob to him, please. Love you. Kisses. Somebody's chatting tonight. Change this background up. Let me see if I can get out a different gun. Oh, game will be closed. Hopefully that doesn't spell disaster. Let's pick, uh... Well, I can't get the AK-47 yet, so I'm not going to do that. I did like the Scar H. I'm gonna stick to use the thermal. And I always like the the uh, I always like the smoke grenade. It's my jam. All right, let's see if there's anybody going on in free for all, maybe.
Not looking likely. Let's get out of there. Oh, game's kind of locking up on me a little bit. Game does not want to react. I'm just going to give it a second here. There we go. Let's try ground war. See if anybody's in that. Domination is what I was playing earlier. It seemed I was having good luck with that. Oh. Oh, one of 50 good games. Send me in. up again so maybe that might be a good thing might just be Ooh, look at that two more players needed let's like mix this up here let's put the p90 Set that class. Oh, the game loves locking up on you. These days, it's it's probably hanging on by a thread over at uh, Activision. Well, I, I you know I wonder how much like server work they even need to do on this because. This game back in the day, remember, like it would always be like finding new host, finding new host. Like it's it's reliant, I believe, on the person with the best connection. That didn't work. Let's try a team death match. Could be a mistake. I don't like playing games where uh, my KD rank is uh, is part of the uh, is part of the game, but. Fifty potential games found. That's pretty good. Let's do a sniper with ACOG. Time to get the shotguns out too. Some guys were getting a little bit too comfortable with those shotguns. There we go. Team deathmatch. High rise. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in high rise. This is a fun level. Wait, what type of game am I playing? They'll respawn next round. This ain't what I want to play. Let's go back to domination. Where things are good. Let's stick with the care package just because that's where all the fun is. Kraken skulls is what I have. Hopefully, can find another game. Well, it does say 50 potential games found. Look at that back in the day. Time played four days, two hours, 46 minutes. This game is slow in the in the menus. Ah, oh, I got booted. What the heck? 
I saw this earlier a little bit too. Kept like booting me out and saying like you need to have Xbox Live in order to play. But I actually do have Xbox Live, so I don't know why uh why it does that. I got 300 wins, 630 losses. Brutal. Any kills? 11,117. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Come on. Let's find a game here. You can do it, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You can do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Scrapyard. That's a small map. I think what I'm going to play next in this series. Just want to make sure it was in the uh, thing, a little, little teaser for you. Call of Duty Modern War or Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I get the steel book for it. Other than that, though, I've just been playing a lot of uh, a lot of Zelda. I've been playing a lot of Zelda lately. Just been taking my time with it. Uh, I'm like those type of open world games. I get so distracted. You know, like, uh, some mission will be way over on the other side of the map, and I'll decide to just walk it. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna walk this, like, and, and see what happens, see what I find, see what goes on, and then I'll get distracted by something, and I'll be do go off and do something else, so... I'm just taking my time with it. I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to tell myself, don't buy any more games, like... I want to buy Diablo 4, but I'm gonna hold off. Beat, beat Zelda. Enjoy it. Enemy has Alpha. Enemy has B. Secure. Oh my god, I knew Buddy was coming too. This map is tiny too, so it's gonna be some chaos in here. Why would you do that, bud? I knew he would turn around. Securing Alpha. Oh my god. These grenades, man. The grenade launchers are the cheapest thing in this game I've decided tonight. Based on my limited play, it's the cheapest thing in this game now. I'm just like, was it always that cheap? I remember like Marty Dumb being super cheap. In, in, uh, in Call of Duty 4, I think it was. Maybe as cheap as it gets. And then everybody was last standing. Remember that too. Now they're just like death streaks in this, which was a smart move. That was a good way to like keep the people happy, people that still wanted it, and also the people who are fighting against it, because you pretty much had to expect everybody was going to drop a grenade at some point, or like everybody was going to lay on their backs and light you up with a pistol. that click. It was all over. Man, my accuracy is atrocious. I remember it always be like so much fun to prestige in this too. Starting over. 
securing Charlie. You get that new emblem or whatever the hell it was. That says oh, you play the hell out of this game. We lost Alpha. Why am I? Oh, that guy's running around Baraka style. Me, I'm me and him are about to get stomped. Everything's just a little bit shittier on this 360 controller. Losing Bravo. You know, back when the Xbox One came out, you were like, wow, okay, this is this is different. You know, I, the, I kind of prefer the Xbox 360 controller, but now that you go back, it's like, man, Microsoft knew what they were doing, man, with the update to the Xbox One controller. The 360 controller just feels so clunky now that the triggers are just, oh man, come on. The triggers just feel so small. I'm used to an elite controller now too. This so spoiled. Find your dreams come true. Thank you. If this is Chase, you are up late. Heads up! Enemy UAV. Out of here, bud. Oh my god, my aiming is atrocious. What else am I rocking here? Let's stick to this. My buddy's helicopter just lighting us up. Yep. What are you doing up so late? You better. Playing that NHL, I bet. Playing that Roblox. <sighs> Can't do anything with that helicopter. Never go to bed. I guess you could stay up all hours of the night. Now that it's now that summer's here. I've pretty much never been known for my kill streaks in this unless you're counting like me providing kill streaks to people from killing me so much, but I enjoy it. That's why you gotta have the care package. That's why I liked when they introduced uh, score streaks. And the, the ones where you can like accumulate the score, that was my jam. Those were made for people like me. I'm able to get one, maybe two kills every now and then. You know, some guys you contribute, they show up, the medics. You know the the guy the the guys who capture the flags. Alpha secure. Those guys deserve kill streaks too. Losing Alpha. Securing True. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Enemy Harry is in Securing Charlie. Securing Alpha. 
I also have a couple other Call of Duty games too. Maybe I'll start busting out some of the Call of Duty games for the next little bit. I actually have Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the Wii. I wonder if I have the Wii U version of Black Ops. If I don't, I'm gonna make it my mission to try to find it. I'd be very curious if anybody's still rocking those games out. Have yourself a good night. Get to bed. Losing eye. Yep, late. Yep. Whatever Ohio moment means, but yeah, that's 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 what's going on. Losing eye. Alpha. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, somebody got the nuke? Impressive. Nuke and everything. Have to meet these boys before, uh, before they say something we we shouldn't hear. Time for one more game. I'm gonna vote to skip just for fun. Sea Drifty. A nuke is something I will never have in this game. Twenty five kills. All right. See how this goes. Domination. Domination. Thermal on this bad boy. Okay. I forgot I put that on. We've taken the lead. Thermal was probably a bad choice given how like quickly these guys. How quickly these guys are. Like they're almost ridiculously fast. Yeah, I should just rock the shotgun. Look at that guy with the ride shield and everything. As soon as I get something going, you know. UAV recon ready for deployment. UAV online. We've lost the lead. Nope, can't go that way. Friendly predator missile 
Look, nobody's gotten C yet. I'm with you. I'm with you, C Drifty. This atrocious aim. Oh, my God. <laughs> I blame it on the controller, you know. I'm just so used to using like an elite controller, like way better, like controller, better handling and stuff. Using this 360 controller is uh, a little rough. Oh, what? Care package waiting for your mark. Care package? It's gonna be risky in this. I feel like I'm stuck in something. Can I get one more kill here? Sharp here. Oh my god, why would that guy be spawning right there? Enemy UAV spotted. Losing me. A resupply? Oh my god, I went that hard. Snipers, man. Snipers. Oh my god, I thought that flag was somebody. I feel like I'm that like Leonardo DiCaprio like meme. Oh, it's just like it's official, little buddy. It has been. That's me playing this right now. I don't even remember like switching to the scar. Losing me! Enemy Apache incoming. Securing A. Enemy Apache, that is excellent.
those showing up 10 points. Enemy got a package incoming. Enemy UAV spotted. Securing C. Oh my god. It's getting rough. Don't give up yet. Guys, just boiled. Enemy UAV spotted. Also sharing our radar. Securing B. Securing B. We are losing this fight. Securing Bravo. Everybody's just so gray and dull now in this game. Like. He just blends in with the walls. You know, that's it. I'm just gonna keep blaming everything but myself. Oh yeah, here's our comeback time. Dare. Oh my god. Last place. Time to turn it up a notch. Never mind. UAV recon ready for deployment. At least I got myself out of last place. Enemy jamming our radar. You sons of bitches. Jam that right as I deploy my UAV. Are you like that? UAV recon standing by. Repeat. UAV A secure. We lost Bravo! Mm. UAV online. Game's still fun though. We Game is still defeated. fun. A new challenge awaits us. Well, it's official little buddy. I'm a has been. That's been Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, guys. Um, you know, not much to say about it. Everybody knows about it. It's an amazing game, uh, you know, the, even the multiplayer still holds up, you know, these guys are complete pros, but, uh, you know, I imagine some of them are hacking, I'm just going to say that, I'm going to I'm gonna blame it on that anyways, um, and, you know, it's not my skill, it's not that my skills aren't good, it's just that everybody's hacking, and, you know, I'm using this old 360 controller, and uh, just to make sure it shows up on camera there, you know, this is not the same as an Xbox One controller, so... But, uh, yeah, enough of the excuses. I'm just, I'm not good at this game anymore. And, uh, but yeah, this has been Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, tomorrow, I'm hoping to play Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, we'll see if I can jump on a game there and play that for a little bit. Uh, once again, guys, I am, uh, playing these streams, uh, also to support my wife's, uh, cause there. Uh, she's raising money for the BMO, uh, Ride for Cancer. And, yeah, I just want to make sure I got the link up properly here. That's all. Oh. 
Yeah, it is the BMO, Ride for Cancer. Uh, the link there is in the QR code. Uh, right now, she's raised $497 uh, out of 1000 And right now, her goal is 1000 I can see her smashing that within the month. So let's hope that, uh, you know, we can raise more than that and uh, and uh, keep up this fight against cancer because, you know, this does hit home, does hit close to us. And, uh, yeah, we want to uh, we want to keep supporting as much as we can. So if you can, you know, scan that QR code, uh, give, give a couple bucks there. If you can't, just maybe share the link and uh, and keep the support going. But until, until next time, guys, have a good one. See ya.